am Amanda with Mind Your Body Oasis, and this is our meditation. If you can start to find your seat, you, today you can sit or you can lie down, whichever one you would prefer today. And maybe start to dim the lights or shut the door <laughs> and start to find your comfortable seat. I am... <clears throat> not going to be on the screen while I'm leading the meditation to see so you can zone out and not get distracted by looking at me. So let me just get that set up. You'll hear my voice, of course. Good. We'll just have you looking. Ganesha. Awesome. Okay, so perfect. Nice. So let's go ahead and get started. And I am going to mute everyone. All right, perfect. So find your comfortable seat. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Deep breath in and a slow, slow, deep breath out. So we're talking and um, focusing on today pranayama, and that is breath in Sanskrit. And in our yoga sutras that we follow as yogis, one of the um, one of the things that we focus on is pranayama, as well as asana. And in, prana, in the Yoga Sutras, Patanjali, who wrote the Yoga Sutras, he doesn't actually provide instructions for pranayama techniques, which is interesting, right? But he gives important cues for it. He invite, and he advises that the, the breath should just be slow and subtle and smooth. And so we've on uh, the West, we have since then developed these different pranayama techniques that are take a lot more focus and effort. But he just suggests that you focus on a long, smooth exhale. That's it. And that the most important aspects of pranayama is the subtle experience of the life force or energy, which is prana, that lies beneath the breath. And it's in this connecting with prana that we can tap deeper into awareness and a connection to self. So let's begin here. So let's just think about our nostrils like a threshold because they're the doorway between the external and the internal world. So in your comfortable seat, just begin by bringing your attention to the space just under your nostrils. And when you inhale, you may feel your breath stroke the space between your upper lip and your nostril on its way into your nose. And when you exhale, you may notice the breath stroking the space as well. So try to exhale slowly, smoothly, and completely all the air from the lungs. And you may want to notice the coolness of the breath as it strokes that space on the way into your nose and to notice the warmth of the breath as it strokes that space on the way out. Now here I just want you to do a little check-in to your comfortable seat and just rearrange yourself, find comfort, find ease, relax your shoulders, 
in your face and your jaw. Noticing any tension here and maybe on your exhales, allowing that tension to release and leave. So just noticing the breath in that space as it comes in through the nose and the coolness and the warmth, that space between the nose and the upper lip as it comes out. So just breathe this way for another minute. Noticing coolness, noticing the tickles on any little hair in that space between nose and upper lip as it comes in and goes out. And if your mind wanders, just come in to that sensation again watching the breath come in and go out. So now let's let go of that technique and observe. How does noticing the sensation there in that little space between the nose and the upper lip make you feel? How does focusing on that area between the upper lip and the nostrils as you breathe, make you feel. So if we consider the nostrils, the threshold, and the boundary between outside and inside worlds, it can be interesting to observe this area. So now, just move your awareness a little higher, right to the opening of your nostrils. And keep your focus on the boundary line between that which is external to your body and that which is internal. Notice the sensations of your inhale. Then notice the sensation of your exhale. Right at that spot, that little area. How are they different? How are these sensations different from the ones that you noticed in the previous technique? That previous one between sensations between upper lip and nostrils. How's it different? Again, try to exhale slowly, smoothly, and completely. And it's completely normal for your mind to wander or move to other places in your body and to wander off and think about your to-do list or what's happening next or what happened before. And when you notice your attention wandering, guide it back to the opening of your nostrils. And 
after a little here, we just let go of that technique and observe. How does focusing on the entrance to the nostrils make you feel? And following this path, next, just bring your awareness to the inside of your nose. Notice the breath flowing in and out of this space. Again, exhale slowly, smoothly, and completely. And what you may begin to discover as you hone your attention in this area is that there's a certain spacious feeling inside your nose. And this space may start to feel larger and larger the more you focus on it. And just notice if the area closer to your nostrils feels more spacious or if there's another area in your nose that feels more spacious higher up. Just notice if one side of your nose feels more spacious than the other. And the temperature of the breath coming in and the temperature of the breath going out, how does that feel different? And what else do you notice? Do you enjoy the inhale more? Is it more pleasing on the exhale? And let's go on, moving on, letting go of this technique and just observe for a moment. How does noticing the inside area of your nose make you feel? So next we notice the cheeks Obviously, your cheeks don't actually breathe, but cheek breathing is a good name for this technique. And there is an anatomical basis for it. The maxillary senses and your cheeks serve an important purpose in respiration. They add moisture to the breath and filter it as it comes into your body. And they also sense pressure changes and subtle sensations that occur during breathing. So begin to notice the feelings in your cheeks as you inhale. You can visualize your senses and imagine that as the breath moves into your nose, it spreads out sideways into your sinuses and your cheeks. As you exhale, visualize that your breath moves <clears throat> toward the center of your nose and then down and out. Again, exhaling slowly, smoothly, and completely. What else do you notice as you cheek breathe? Do you 
feel sensations in your teeth as the breath spreads out from the nose sideways into the cheeks, warming the breath. As the breath gathers in the opposite, through the cheeks and out the nose, on the exhale. So let go of this technique and just observe. And how does noticing your cheeks while you breathe make you feel? Next, pay attention to the eyebrow breathing. I'm sure it's no surprise that your eyebrows don't actually breathe. But again, the sinuses rest right behind and above your eyebrows and they're integral to respiration and they can register senses. So begin by noticing the flow of the breath up into your nose on your inhale. Visualize the breath moving up and out in both directions across the area behind your eyebrows. As if your breath is splitting in two at the third eye point. And as you exhale, visualize your breath moving back and joining together at the middle of your upper nose. Try to exhale slowly and smoothly and completely and visualize the breath moving down and out. And what else do you notice while you practice this eyebrow breathing? Let's let go of this technique and just observe. How does noticing your eyebrows while you breathe make you feel? And then let's just move to focus on the third eye for what we'll call third eye breathing. There are sinuses in this area. And this, it's an area that's an ancient common point of concentration for both pranayama and meditation. So focusing on this point between your eyebrows while you're breathing can have a soothing effect on your nervous system. Facilitates concentration an important area for cognitive processing and decision making. This prefrontal cortex. So begin this practice by bringing your awareness to the space between your eyebrows as you breathe. Visualize your breath moving in through your nose and right up to the spot between your eyebrows. And as you exhale, just imagine your breath leaving from that spot and then moving out and down through your nostrils. And try to exhale slowly and smoothly and completely. Another option is you can visualize the breath coming in straight through your third eye rather than up through your nose and exhaling through that same area. How does that feel? And what else do you notice while practicing this breath?
And let's let go of this technique and observe. How does noticing your third eye during breathing make you feel? Let's just take a nice, long, slow, deep breath in. Fill up your lungs, noticing the rest of the body now, the rest of your airway. And exhale out really slow, really long. And so here, towards the end of our meditation, let's do something called offering the colors meditation. And it's a traditional tantric meditation. And again, just notice the straightness of your spine and the softness in your shoulders. Noticing your nice long inhale and your nice long exhale and how your body feels in this moment. And if you're sitting, you can just put your palms together at your heart and then open them as if you were holding something in your hands. Sitting or lying down, you can do this. Bring into your mind any thoughts, positive or negative or neutral, that have been occupying your mind today or during the meditation we just did. And just choose the most dominant thought. And then associate that thought with a color. Don't spend too much time analyzing which color, it's okay to use whatever color comes to mind first. And now allow that color to transform into a beautiful flower. And next feel the flower emerging from your body, coming out into your hands. Imagine that sitting in front of you is a specific deity, or an energy or an entity which presents itself to you as a manifestation of your higher power or divine consciousness. Just take a moment to contemplate and connect with that being, that energy. And then lower your hands to the floor and offer your flower. And bring your hands, your palms together, back up to your heart and watch as your flower is received by that energy, that deity, that entity. choose to repeat this offering a flower lowering the hands to the floor while you do this and then bringing the palms back together at the heart watching the flower received and now bring a white color into your mind brilliant white pure pure color and allow it to represent all of you. And just watch the color coalesce and transform into a beautiful white flower. Just take a moment to notice its beauty, its freshness, its completeness as it sits in your hand. And lower your hands to the floor and offer that flower as well. 
And then just bring your palms back together at your heart and watch as your flower is received. Breath in and breath out. And here your hands can stay at your heart center or on your belly. And then we're just gonna close with three ohms. So take a deep breath in all the air out. Inhale for Om. Om. where you may express gratitude or set an intention for the rest of your day, taking with you any positive vibes and energy. Thank you so much for joining. I am Amanda. Please reach out if you have questions or thoughts or good vibes that you want to share. Thank you.